sneakers have come a long way from their humble origins as simple rubber-soled shoes for athletes. Today, they are a global phenomenon with millions of sneaker heads and collectors around the world obsessing over the latest releases and rarest finds. But how did we get here? In this video, we will take a deep dive into the history and evolution of sneakers, exploring the key moments, innovations, and cultural movements that have shaped this icon of modern fashion. Our tale commences in the late 19th century, where an innovative spark ignited on both sides of the Atlantic. Across the ocean, in England, the new Liverpool Rubber Company introduced the world's first rubber-soled shoes in 1876. These early creations were unpretentiously named beat shoes and plimsolls, designed for comfort and leisure. They marked the inception of a revolutionary concept that would forever change the world of footwear. Meanwhile, in the United States, an unexpected term was taking shape. Although it was long believed that sneakers was coined by a marketing genius in 1917, recent research uncovered an article from the Boston Journal of Education in 1887. This article depicted children sneaking up on their teachers due to the soft soles of their shoes. The term sneakers was born, embodying the very essence of these quiet, rubber-soled marvels. The sneaker world is a linguistic tapestry where these versatile shoes don multiple monikers based on geography and style. In the United Kingdom, they are known as trainers, while the United States uses the term sneakers most commonly. But the diversity doesn't stop there. High tops, kicks, sneaks. All of these names are variations of sneakers. The story of sneakers goes way back to the late 19th century, but it really started taking off with the invention of vulcanized rubber by Charles Goodyear in 1839. That rubber revolutionized the world of footwear and paved the way for the birth of the first sneaker company in 1886. Back then, sneakers were quite basic and didn't even have a distinct left and right foot. But this didn't stop them from evolving. As the 20th century rolled in, sneakers started gaining popularity, especially among folks looking for comfy and practical shoes for leisure and outdoor activities. They kept evolving to meet the ever-changing needs and preferences of people, and they have come a long way from those early, less specialized versions. The early 20th century was a game-changer for sneakers. In 1917, Converse All-Stars burst onto the scene, eventually becoming the best-selling basketball sneakers worldwide. These iconic shoes got a big boost when Indiana's basketball superstore, Chuck Taylor, gave them his stamp of approval. After World War I, the sneaker market in the United States grew steadily, and young boys and sports fans were eager to snag sneakers endorsed by their sports heroes. This was the period when sneakers transitioned from being purely for sports to becoming a symbol of youth, energy, and an active lifestyle. Sneakers had officially become a part of mainstream culture and fashion. The 1936 Olympics in Berlin played a crucial role in bringing sneakers to the global stage. The U.S. basketball team rocked Converse sneakers throughout the tournament, grabbing loads of attention. But the true superstar of the Olympics was Jesse Owens, who won four gold medals while wearing track shoes designed by Adolph Dassler, the founder of Adidas. Dassler's business boomed thanks to athletes' outstanding performances, and just before World War II, they were selling a whopping 200,000 pairs of sneakers annually. The 1936 Olympics was a turning point, marking the moment when sneakers truly became an international sensation, leaving a lasting mark on the global sporting stage. After the turmoil of World War II, there was a cultural shift in the world of sneakers. The younger generation started seeing sneakers as more than just athletic gear, they saw them as symbols of rebellion, freedom, and personal style. The 1950s saw a surge in leisure activities, and schools relaxed their dress codes, making room for sneakers in the classroom. Sales took off to the point where they started affecting the sales of traditional leather shoes. This cultural shift laid the foundation for the emergence of two iconic sneaker brands in the 1960s, Nike and Vans. Post-World War II, sneakers became symbols of individuality and nonconformity, setting the stage for what was to come. The 1980s and 90s were pivotal decades for sneakers. This era saw the rapid rise of iconic brands like Nike, Adidas, and Reebok, turning them into household names. Sneakers went beyond being just footwear. They became symbols of status, self-expression, and identity. Innovative designs, vibrant patterns, and bold colors perfectly matched the dynamic fashion trends of the time, shaping the sneakers we're familiar with today. Perhaps one of the most famous brand and athlete partnerships was between Michael Jordan and Nike, resulting in the legendary Nike Air Jordans. 
These sneakers represent a fusion of sports, culture, and fashion, and their enduring popularity speaks to their timeless appeal. The 1980s and 90s also introduced the first $100 trainers, like the Nike Air 1s, Nike Air Jordans, and Reebok pumps, which transcended athletic gear to become symbols of luxury and aspiration. As we stepped into the new millennium, the sneaker market exploded with brands, sports star endorsements, and even fashion houses adopting the sneaker style. Musicians like Jay-Z started endorsing footwear brands, leading to exciting collaborations that blurred the lines between sports, music, and fashion. A significant partnership emerged with Kanye West's Adidas Yeezys. At first, they raised eyebrows, but they quickly became bestsellers, representing a unique fusion of street style and high fashion. Today, sneakers continue to be at the forefront of fashion culture. Fashion houses have embraced them, and musicians and artists collaborate with sneaker brands to create limited edition releases that are highly sought after. Sneakers have transformed from simple athletic footwear into symbols of cultural significance, creativity, and personal expression. Their influence extends far beyond the sports world, and the sneaker revolution is a testament to their enduring appeal and their ability to keep evolving with the times. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the history and evolution of sneakers. From the early days of Converse and Adidas to the modern hype and innovation of brands like Nike and Yeezy, these shoes have come a long way. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about your favorite footwear. If you want to stay up to date on the latest fashion news and insight, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. This is Riches to Rags signing off.